cook with me episode one rasta pasta <laughs> let's fight <laughs> no hey guys so today I'm, we're doing rasta pasta and jerk chicken as you can see i have my penne noodles and my water was already on boil uh of course usually i use rigatoni but i really wanted to do the penne noodles i didn't want to try to like overwhelm you guys throw you guys off so i'm gonna just do a little basic today we'll be a little extra next time so yes basically i throw it in there i already put some oil in there so i'm just gonna mix it up a little bit you know Make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom. And then I'm just going to add a little salt in there. Give it a little quick sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle, as you can see, even more. So after I, do, after I do that, what I'm going to do is basically just mix it a little bit more. Make sure that it's all nice and, I don't know, combined, <laughs> I guess is the right word. So you see it boiling, right? You see that? That look real, real good. Give that about eight minutes because I'm going to throw it in the oven after. After that, I'm going to get started on this chicken. So, you know, I got to put my gloves on for the chicken because um, I'm tired of having to wash my hands every three minutes when I'm cooking. So, I ordered me some pink gloves for about $40. Oh, I know that's a little expensive, but I have a ton of them from Amazon. And I'm just going to get into it. So, now I'm going to open this. I ran out of vinegar. I was so mad, so mad. So, I'm going to have to just do it the old school way. And I'm just gonna have to like basically wash it off with some water make sure I really get into it So you're gonna see me wash off these two pieces of chicken cutlets for the jerk chicken I'm gonna give it a nice nice wash You know I'm, you see me getting in there rubbing it down pulling any pieces off letting the water run on it I get a mixing bowl this mixing bowl I'm gonna use to season it and I basically just use it to rinse, rinse it off so now that that's nice and rinsed, I'm going to get the slicing, slice, 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 slice. You can slice it any way you want, cubes, strips, whatever. I um I slice it, and I took off that fat because that's nasty. But <laughs> anyways, I slice it up, as you can see, um, and I get rid of the parts that I don't want. I'm very picky with that stuff. If it gives me a little bit of a hard time, it got to go, okay? So um, basically, yeah, I'm slicing it in different, you know, different patterns. doesn't really matter how I'm slicing it. If I'm slicing and getting rid of what I don't like, and I'm throwing it in that bowl. Now, in that bowl, we got a few ingredients that we're going to be using. Um, this is this is very, um, very, very basic. Um, you know, the regulars. I usually let it marinate overnight, but I didn't have time for that because my man wanted it today. So, what I usually use is a little bit of salt. Throw your salt in there. I don't do pepper on the chicken because I got all these other seasonings. Um, I guess you can call this a little low fat rasta pasta. Got me a little garlic powder. Now, uh, you know about that garlic powder. You could pass as much garlic powder as you want in there. All it's going to do is make it better. Throw a ton of garlic powder in there. And then I use the Grace Jerk seasoning. Um, as you can see, it's giving me a little bit of hard time. So I had to give it a little, a little boom, boom, boom. So now I'm smacking in. I'm throwing as much as I um, want to put in there. Usually I do about two to three tablespoons of that, but I don't really know. Next time I'll give you some actual measurements. This was just to be a cute little fun quick with me. There you go with the paprika because I love some color. As you can see, my millennium skin. And then I have the flavor rice. I got this from Daddy's Kitchen. I love it. I have like three, three um, canisters of it. You need to watch his YouTube, Daddy's Kitchen. He teaches you how to make all the Caribbean food love him then i use some um some a little bit a little bit because i don't like spicy a little bit of the hot jerk marinade i don't look like a little bit but that's a little bit because i can't do the spices my throat be like <gasps> <laughs> so yeah and then i throw a little mild in there and i get to going so once i have all my little seasons in there and it's looking nice and colorful i'm gonna grab me a tongs because i'm not putting those gloves back on and I'm not getting my hands dirty. So I tongs it around, tongs it around, make sure it gets nice and colored. As you're going to see, it's going to get nice and jerk looking. And by this time, you should smell it. If you don't smell it, that means you need a little bit more season. All right? I'm just throwing that out there. So I'm going to mix it up, mix it up. That's looking real good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to let it marinate. It's probably only going to get about 30 minutes of marinade, but 30 minutes is better than no minutes. You hear me? So you see how that look? Nice and just seasoned and mm, scrum deliosis. So yes, I'm going to throw that to the side. I'm going to throw all this stuff out because I don't like my kitchen dirty. And then I'm going to get on to the next one. This is me cutting the peppers. I do red, orange, and um, green. Clean it out. I don't like any of those insides. I'm going to basically clean, like basically gut it, gut the peppers. 
and then <laughs> and then I'm going to spice them up. Have you ever had like a pepper that had babies in it? I used to feel so bad. I used to yank it out like I was in surgery or something. So basically, I get rid of the top and bottom pieces. I don't really like it. And I'm just going to do a, a little bit of the slicing. So I'm slicing it up in all different types of shapes. I don't really care because it's going in my mouth anyway. And like I said, this is quick. My man decided to tell me uh, an hour before, hey, you want to make some pasta pasta? I'm in the mood for it. So I had to go to the supermarket and grab a few things. Uh, obviously, I didn't have time. So the only thing I'm missing in this episode, this episode, yes, because this is episode one. And this episode is the time. But um, that's usually defi a definite for my rasta pasta. So let's see how it tastes without it, actually. I was a little nervous about that. That's what I was talking about while I was cutting up the peppers. So as you can see, I'm cutting up the peppers. I don't like to make them too thick, um, but definitely not too thin. But any shape really matters. So now my noodles are done. I'm going to throw those bad boys in there. And when my noodles are usually done before... Shake a shake a shake <laughs> before I um, am finished with the sauce. I'll throw it in there, add a little bit of olive oil, and I'm just going to mix it around a little bit. Let it sit there, and it should be fine until my oil is done. So you see those noodles? Look at that. Mm, it looks really good, you know. It's nice and um, al dente. It's not too soft. It's definitely ready to get baked. Oh, wait, guys, I forgot to tell you. Don't forget to put that oven on 350 because you're going to need to bake it if you decide to. So let's get into my my favorite part is the sauce so i throw a little olive oil in there because i'm trying to be a little bit healthier so that's usually about a tablespoon or two then the next thing you're gonna see oh don't forget my tea file i'm in love with it you should get one from amazon after it starts to heat up and i swerve it around and now it's all over the pot i'm gonna throw some garlic up in there some minced garlic and as you can see, it starts to pop. Once it starts to pop, I'm going to throw those peppers in there. Make sure I get all those peppers up in there. And now I'm mixing around a little bit. As it's mixing and doing what it's got to do, I'm going to sit there and add a little bit of my mild, mild jerk marinade. And I'm just going to swish it, swish it, swish it, swish it. Let it cook up a little bit. Let it get nice and flavorful and colorful. And, you know, make sure I get a little of that jerk look to it. So you're going to see me just basically... I'm moving around a little bit, letting it sit. You see all those, you know, that happening. Mm, yes, look at that. That looks so good. I love me some peppers. I used to hate them, but now I love them. You know what? I'm going to show you how to make a stuffed peppers. Maybe that'll be episode two or three. I love me a stuffed pepper, um, especially with me eating right and, you know, trying to just live a healthier lifestyle. I am obsessed with the peppers. So as you can see, it's not too nice and smoky. Got the jerk and smoking up. Got the garlic over there. Garlic and doing what it's supposed to do. Browning a little bit. You see that? Yeah, I don't like it to be too soft. Because, I don't know, I don't really like the soft peppers. I love the peppers, I don't really like the soft peppers. So, yeah, I leave it like that. I let it cook just a little bit. Mm. Don't that look good? Yes, yes, yes. Lord, it, Lord, it sure do. It sure do. Mmm. Whew. My man love my peppers. That's why he's saying they're all up in it like that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the peppers cooking and all that stuff. And then I'm going to take the peppers out, leave the leave the pan just the way it is. As you can see, you see them garlics hop, 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 hop in. Yes. I'm throwing in my heavy cream. It's about one cup. Uh, for a small pan, I do, I do use one cup. I don't like to overdo um, the heavy cream because I just don't like that thick rasta pasta taste. And then I do a half a cup of my chicken stock. Love my chicken stock. Low with sodium sometimes. Depends on how I'm feeling. But today I did full sodium. I need all the sauce. All right. Add a little pepper, garlic, a little jerk seasoning to that, of course. As you can see. Now you see a little bit of the colors coming in. That's my pepper because then I add it to the chicken. So I'm adding it to the sauce. It got to be a little balance over that. You know what I'm saying? Now we got my color in there to throw the millennium on there. <laughs> As you can see. And then what I'm going to add after that um, is the, what are we going to call it? What is it called? Tell me out, guys. Um, my jerk marinade. Yes, definitely my jerk marinade. After my jerk marinade, I usually, I usually add the cheese. You should see the cheese come at any moment now. Let's see. Where you at, cheese? Let me see you drop, drop, drop. 
when the cheese drops. Hey, there we go. Yes, there's my cheese. I love my good and gather cheese from Target because obviously I'm booty chick, charge. So I throw my cheese in there. And then I um, put my broccoli. Don't forget your broccoli. Forgot to tell you guys. You need your broccoli. I get the bird's eye steam fresh broccoli. I throw it in the uh, microwave for about five minutes. And then while that five minutes is happening, I'm usually cooking up the sauce. So I put it on high just to get it to start to melt. And then um, once it's melting um, and you don't really see the cheese anymore, that's when I add um, That's when I add the broccoli. But as you can see, the colors are Mm, are doing this thing you see it changing it might not look like jerk um jerk uh, pasta sauce right now but trust me you will see it just give it a second mm, you see that cheese melting that's because it's on high but you gotta watch it you gotta make sure that you're stirring it because i don't like bird cheese in my food so <laughs> as you can see it's getting real good look at that mm. Mm, 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 mm. yes look at that right there look at that right there right there right there Now I'm going to add my peppers in there so that the peppers can get some of the flavor also. And I'll mix the peppers around a little bit. Not too much. I don't really have to do too much because it was already seasoned. But I'll add that. You see it moving around. Mm -hmm. Looks good, right? I know it does. And I'm going to let it sit for a little minute while I still wait for the rest of my, um, for the broccoli. So I'm going to just let it sit and let it simmer, get a little thick. And then the broccoli is going to just be dumping in like pow. You see a little bubbling a little bit. Mm. I love me some rasta pasta. I tell you that much. Do you love you some rasta pasta? Mm, look at them bubbles. Yes, yes, yes. You know, mix it up a little bit. Make sure it's not burnt because, like I sound like no burnt cheese. That don't make sense. And now my broccoli should be ready by this point. So I'm going to, yep, there it go. Drop, 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 drippity drop. There's my broccoli. I love using the steam fresh. It's amazing. And it definitely still keeps the texture of the broccoli. It's nice and not too hard, not too sore. So because the broccoli is already cooked, I don't like to leave it in there too long. So I'm not going to, but I definitely leave it in there just so it can soak up a little bit of this sauce and these flavors. Because I feel like every bite, every piece of that meal needs to be nice and flavorful. Mm. So there's my pasta rain ready to get rained on and loved on. So now that I mixed everything together, I'm going to dump it all on top, all on top. You see all those colors. Oh my gosh. It's starting to look like rasta pasta to you. You see the different color in the sauce? Because I know people are like, oh, it's not rasta pasta if it don't look like this. Well, does it look like it now? So now here I am. <laughs> I'm just basically mixing it up, making sure I get all of it in. Um... Mm, look at that color look at the uh, I love I love a meal that serves everything you know I'm gonna have my protein my greens my fruits because you know peppers are fruit and you know I have my carbs up in there just amazing I just love I, this is one of my favorite meals so now that I put that in the oven because the oven should be ready because you should have preheated it I'm now adding my jerk chicken to a pan with some olive oil yes look at that so I'm throwing it in there and we're going to let it cook. I usually let it cook for about six minutes each side. And I'll flip it over again for like two minutes just to give it that little extra crisp. But I try to add as much um, chicken to the pan as I can. I got all my pieces in there. Let me show you how I made it fit. Listen, mama's going to make it because I did not want to cook today. So, me cooking was enough. So, I was like, nah, I'm not going to be having to wash this pan and do it all over again. I ain't got time for that. So, now, my time is up. And now, I'm flipping it. Look how it looks when you flip it over. Oh, my God. You see those colors? It looks so yummy. So yummy. So delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that piece. That looks so good. Yes, Daisy, cook up some jerk chicken breasts. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make some chicken breasts, all right? Oh, my gosh. This makes me want to show you guys my jerk chicken. Oh, my God, my jerk chicken wrap. 
Y'all would love that. That one's lit. That one's lit. Maybe I'll do that too. Listen, I love these voiceovers and I love cooking. So y'all gonna get a whole lot of cook cooking with me. Maybe I'll do one once a week or twice a month. But y'all definitely gonna get it because I love it. But anyways, let's get back to this. Look up in that chicken. Mm, 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 mm. So now about this time, the pasta's done. I usually like mix it um, halfway through. So after like eight minutes, 10 minutes in there, I'll mix it and then leave and then um, leave it in there again. So when I mix it, that's what it should look like after I, after I mix it the first time in the oven, then when it comes out the oven. Do you see those colors? Is that giving you the Rasta pasta feel? Mm, looks so yummy. So yummy. Let's get into that, guys. I'm getting hungry. Might make me some for lunch. Mm. Now, I think it's time. I think we completed now. What you think? I think I done mixed it all through. Make sure each one is nice and ready. So let's plate it. Let's get this going. Boop. 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 Yes. Boom. Boom. Where's that? Where's that? Yes. Love it. So much. So much. It's so good. It's amazing. You'll love it. Uh, Mike obviously gives a little more because he likes it. Look at that jerk chicken! Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Yes. Mm, I love me some jerk chicken. Let's get into my plate. I don't really do a lot of chicken, um, so I'm not going to add too much. Probably like three pieces. I don't know if that is too much for y'all, but ain't for me. Yes, look at that nice little baby piece. Oh, you see the side with the darkness? Mm, I love a little crispiness. So let's get into it. Let's try it. So, mm, let me just stuff my mouth. Oh, it's so good. This was the best part. This was my favorite part. I don't eat the stems of the broccoli, so excuse excuse that part. But let me know if you like that. I hate those. Oh, my God, look at that chicken. So I just felt like that, nice and tender and juicy and amazing. Look at my face. Mm, so good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs up, subscribe, like, later.